Hi, I'm Brittany with Candy Systems, and today we're going to be pressing a Creative Borders by Unisub. And before, we carried them in aluminum, and now we have MDF available. So that's a different little feature. They make great little stands, perfect for a desktop. I brought several different styles with me. We have the Benelux, the Berlin, Pamplona, and we're going to be pressing the Prague today. The substrate itself actually comes with a little action easel, and we'll assemble it, and ours will look just like the three I brought with me. Our first step is going to be removing our peel coat. And we want to make sure that we remove our peel coat because it's the quickest way to ruin our image and our transfer. And it can ruin our press. So I'll remove my peel coat. And when I move to my press today, we're going to do a pre-press. The MDF itself, you'll want to be sure to Pay attention to how we're going to pre-press. What I'm going to do is I place a sheet of protective paper on the bottom, and you'll notice that I'm placing it actually face down, so the area that we're going to be sublimating is facing the paper. And the reason why we're doing this is because we're still going to remove any excess moisture from the back, but what it's doing is that as we're taking the moisture out, when we actually do our press, we'll flip it, and any kind of warping issues or easily eliminated, especially with such a smaller piece of MDF. So that's just one little tip we're going to do today. I'll do a quick pre-press and we'll be able to apply our transfer. And once we finish with our pre-press, we're going to move to our table. And depending on the size of MDF, you may want to use a weight to cool it. This, this item is smaller, so it should be able to cool by itself, but we're going to want to make sure that it does get time to cool before we do our second press. We have to make sure that it's not hot and still moist. You can almost feel it with the steam. So I'm going to place my substrate in line, and then I'm going to secure it down with a couple pieces of heat tape. With our final piece of heat tape in place, we're going to move back to our press. Let's open our press back up, place a sheet of protective paper on the bottom, and we're going to go back and do what we're used to, which is making sure that our image is face down. This is where our heat's going to apply. Place another sheet of protective paper on the top, and we will complete our press. And that sound means we're done. So let's lift and swing away on the press. Remove our transfer right away. I always love the way the Chromalux turns out. I'm going to give this several minutes to cool before I put on my easel. And again, always be sure to refer to our website for the latest instructions and time, temperature, and pressure. And paying attention to our photo itself, I'm going to make sure that I position my easel correct. This will come with the creative borders itself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove my double stick tape, try to give it a little bit of a pre-bend for my easel, and I'll place it directly in the center. Just because of the size, you're going to want to make sure that it's, it fits your MDF piece so that it's going to prop up well. And we will have our easel, final product. We just put together our stand with our Chromalux Creative Borders MDF. It's great that we offer it in MDF now. We have an entire line of creative borders that you want to be sure to check out at Condi.com and watch more of my videos at Conditv.com. I'm Renew with Condi Systems, and thank you for joining us.